Yeah, hello there. My name is Austin Ehaime, and I'm sure you're, you're going to enjoy this class. You know, you've been doing something, you've been doing all the things we've been doing right from the beginning of this class. The drawings, the, 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 the posters, you know. I would like to see some things you've done. Today we'll be going into the introductions of colors. You know, yeah, you know about colors, types of colors, you know. It's going to be fun. I want you to sit back, relax, enjoy the art show. And we'll talk about types of colors, color mixtures, and color wheel. Now, first and foremost, look around you. You see colors are everywhere. Colors gives an object its true identity. You know, there's no way you're going to do anything without using colors. And the, the point about colors, the thing about colors is just try to feel yourself. Try to enjoy it when you see it. First of all, we're going to look at the primary colors. The primary colors. That's one of the colors, types of colors. The primary colors, we call them the basic colors. Why are they the basic colors? You know why? Because they produce other colors. The primary colors are, we have yellow, we have blue, and we have red. These are the primary colors and they are known as the basic colors. The primary colors, these three, these three colors, red, yellow, and blue, produce other colors. And those other colors, like the, the secondary colors. Now, how do you mix the secondary colors? So how do you get the secondary colors? The secondary colors, you achieve by getting, by mixing two of the primary colors in equal quantity. Remember, it has to be equal. If it's not equal, then you can't get it. So for what you do to get the green? Now, you mix blue and yellow. Blue and yellow, equal quantity, will give you green, which is the secondary colors. Remember, mix blue and yellow to give you green at equal quantity. Remember, at equal quantity. Now, try that. Now, the next color is what? Orange. How do you get the orange? What you do is this. You get your yellow and you get your red. And you get the orange. Once again, equal quantity. It will give you orange color at being part of the secondary colors. Now, that is this, is down. The, second, the third one is what? The third one is purple. How do you get the purple? You mix blue and you mix red. Equal quantity will give you purple. The green, the green, and the green, purple, and orange are the secondary colors. And the third one is the tertiary, the tertiary color. Tertiary color is the mixture of two secondary colors at equal quantity. Remember, I said equal. They must be equal. So, I want you to practice. I'm sure you are enjoying the flow, enjoying the feel. Now, there are other types of colors. You have complementary colors, which is colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. So when, when you talk about complementary, they are talking about colors that are opposite in terms of cool and warm. So let's assume we have, this is what we call the color wheel. This is the color wheel. This is the color wheel. So we're having, this is the color wheel. We are having colors on the color wheel and we are trying to look at complementary colors. He said complementary colors are colors that are opposite to each other on the color wheel. Now, you, you can see blue here and opposite to it also, you can see another brand of the lighter orange, the lighter orange. Then you can see green here, opposite the red. You can, I hope you can see that, you know. So colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel are called complementary colors. We have also what we call the neutral colors. The neutral colors are, are black and white. 
they are neutral because they are used for they, they are called neutral because you use them to to either use them as a tint to lighten color or to create a shade of other colors do you get me now now let's go on to other ones other types of colors are we have the warm colors the warm colors are yellow orange red why are they called warm because they produce heat you know they're called warm colors the other types of colors are also is called cool colors examples of cool colors are blue green purple you know that they, they tend to be cool you know so those are cool colors because they, they wherever you whenever you use them they don't they give you they make you feel relaxed you know so that's why they are called cool colors now we're going to look at color tools and color materials. Now the color tools are those are those tools that do last longer. You know, they, they tend to stay longer. You know, when in use. For example: we could, we could call uh, your palette. Your palette is the color tools. Your 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 scraper. What is a scraper? The scraper is what you use to remove colors that are dried up on your palette. You know. So the scraper can also be called your, palette, your, your color tools. Now the color materials are, are like your, 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 your paints. Your paints could also be called the, your color materials. Your brushes, your painting brushes could be called your color materials. Now the color materials tend to have a, a time limit. You know, they don't stay long. You know, you, have, you use them and at the point you, they have to finish. So those are, those are just, just the difference between the color tools and the color materials. Now, there are different types of colors when, when it comes to color materials. We have the watercolor. This is the watercolor, you can see it. This is the watercolor. This is called acrylic color. It's also a brand of color, you know. I'm talking about the brands and color or and their, their colors these are this color these are acrylic you know the difference between watercolor and acrylic is that the watercolor when applying it it's more like a wash on your surface of your of your painting you know it's lighter you know it's lighter whereas the, the acrylic or the poster color the application of it is a bit thicker it's opaque, you know. It's, that's 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 one thing. That's one difference between a, acrylic and poster color, or poster color and watercolor. You know, one is lighter than the other. Then the other one we have also is the oil, the oil colors. We have them in different brands. Oil colors, you know. This ones, the oil colors are basically you you apply them on your canvas canvas materials your canvas this is what we call canvas you can apply them on canvas you know this is the canvas material you know using turpentine or kerosene as your solution to to wash your brushes why the acrylic and the watercolor you use water to clean your brushes if you want to start painting you know you could you could have various type of materials but for for starters, for those that want to go into painting, first, of, first and foremost, you need to have your colors. Make sure you have all brands of colors, you know, from watercolor, poster color, acrylic, you know, have them. Have your brushes, good brushes, you know, good brushes is very ideal. Have your palette knife. This is a palette knife to mix your colors. This is your palette knife to miss your colors. You have to come in different sizes. You know, that's one. Then you could also then make sure you have your palette. Palette, it's that surface where you mix your colors. They come in different sizes too. You know, big, small, you know, whichever one you can get. Just have your palette where you mix your colors. You know, then you also have cardboard. You can have your cardboard. You can have your cardboard or your canvas, you know, a surface where you can do your artwork, paint, you know. Yeah, hope you've enjoyed today's class. Uh, guys, I just want you to try and do 
some things. Send me visuals. I would like to see one or two things you've done. Um, it's very important that keep, you keep practicing. You know, feel free to send me emails. You know, I'll be there to, to give you a guide. Um, till next time we meet again, keep drawing, keep painting, keep believing in yourself. You know, art is life, art is culture, art is everything that is sweet. So TV.